welcome to my cooking channel we call Cooking at Nana Blotch. Today we're going to make chili crisp. Chili crisp is this condiment that's really come alive. Um, it was originally in, like, in the late 90s in China and then somehow it got exported over here and then it seemed like in COVID I was reading about all sorts of different ways to make chili crisp and you know famous chefs were coming up with their own version and I thought yeah why not? You know me, I like to try and figure out how to make things like Worcestershire sauce or ketchup or something. So I went through and made several different batches to try and figure out what chili crisp that we like here at Nano Lodge. And so today I'm going to share that recipe with you. Chili crisp gets its heat from the chilies. We're using pasilla, guajillo for just a little bit of smokiness. It's not a super hot chili. And then chilies de arbol, which brings in a little bit of heat. Um, but the crisp part comes, we're going to take some shallots and garlic and we're going to fry them in oil. Um, and then drain them off and let them get nice and crispy. There's also some sesame seeds in there uh, that bring in some great crunch, so you get chili crisp. And then there's lots of different aromatics and spices from cardamom to ginger and uh, star anise that we're gonna add that are really gonna build some nice layers of flavor in the chili crisp. Here are all the ingredients in the Nano Glage version of chili crisp. I've got the three chilies here. Uh, remember that's the pasilla, the arbol, and the guajillo. We're going to heat up the oil and we're going to fry the sliced garlic and shallot in there. And then all of our seasonings and uh, aromatics are going to be um, just a little bit of sugar. So there is a little balance of sweetness in the heat. We've got some fresh ginger. I've got a little bit of Worcestershire powder for some umami. Szechuan peppercorns. They're um, got just a little bit of pepperiness to it, but they got a lot of zinginess to it. It's kind of like it makes your tongue a little tingly. Um, they get great flavor. I've got some star anise. And I've also got just two little green cardamom pots, um, but they'll add just a little bit of great flavor. And then the other part of the crunch is the sesame. So we're going to get everything ready and then we'll go to the stove. Prep is ready. You can see I've powdered up all three of the peppers. Not super, super fine, but not rough either. You don't want to bite into a huge piece of chili when you eat chili crisp. Slice the shallots and the garlic. I've minced the ginger, and we've got all the rest of the aromatics measured out. I took the cardamom pods and I just cracked them just a little bit, just to release the seeds and the um, oils in there. So we'll heat the oil, fry the onion and the garlic, and then mix everything all together. Here's our beautiful bowl of chili crisp. It's got so much going on, ginger and a little bit of, just a hint of ants from the star anise and the fried shallots and garlic. It's just gonna be delicious. I'm gonna put it in this jar, put it in the fridge and let it sit overnight. That's the best way to do it, just allow those flavors to melt a little bit. And then you can put it on anything. It's great on a grilled steak or chicken. I've even seen it at a restaurant on ice cream. That was a little weird, but I had to try it. Um, so lots of fun things you can do with this. It'll keep in the fridge for a while. Um, so mix them up. It also makes really great gifts around Christmas time. A little jar of your own homemade chili crisp. Give it out to friends. So have fun. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nano Glodge. And we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.